Hey all, Russ here, RVR TV. How you doing today? Well, it's about 6 a.m. We're leaving Twin Falls, Idaho. Drove over 500 miles uh, yesterday getting down here. Okay, crossing into the Nevada state line. I'm doing something different going back. This is a uh, highway 93 south and I'm going to continue on it I'm not going to take interstate 80 I'm like I came up I'm going to head on down to a little town called uh, Ely, Nevada now this road is as flat as a pancake and it's just vast I mean you drive through these huge valleys and uh, we're getting close to Ely now Okay, we're on the east side of Nevada, not too far from Utah. Now here's uh, Ely. This is the old town down here. Look at all the motels and casinos and mining was huge, has been huge here for 100 years. It's really something, just a neat old place. If you ever get here, you'd enjoy it. And there's another reason I came down this way. This has been on my bucket list. Welcome to US 50 West. This is Highway 50. It's also got a nickname called the loneliest highway in America. Whoever named that. <laughs> so let's check it out. It's kind of like you're driving in the clouds. I mean, the elevations are just way up. Uh, there's like over a dozen mountain passes I'll go over here and uh, a lot of them are 7,000 feet. Even the flatlands you're 6,000. Even hitting rainstorms with blue sky, check it out. There's all kinds of campgrounds on, you can't see it in the video, but uh, You could camp here. There's all kinds of pull-offs. You could boondock. But look at these. I mean, look at the view. <laughs> this is beautiful. Okay, this pass here, we're about 7,300 feet in there. <laughs> That's amazing. Look at all the pines, too. Okay, we're almost up to a little town. It's called uh, Eureka, Nevada. Old, old mining town. I mean, talk about being out in the middle of nowhere. This is it. <laughs> There's only three towns on this 230-mile uh, stretch of road. Ely, Eureka, then we'll go through the next one. Okay, I topped off the fuel tank. You knew definitely there's almost nowhere to get gas. You want to top off as soon as you find a place. I might see a truck or a car every 10 or 15 minutes. I guess that's why they call it the loneliest road in America. What a beautiful drive. Oh man, this is just something to see. You have to take this. In a Class B or C motorhome would just be perfect to cut across here. Okay, starting to climb up another pass. We're getting fairly close to the next town. Uh, it's starting to rain a little bit too. I've just seen a couple lightning strikes, but it's clear up ahead. <laughs> Good old mountain driving here. Okay, up, made it over the top. This one was 7,400 feet. Now we're dropping down. Look at that view. Look at the sky. Look at the clouds. Look how beautiful that is. A lot of switchbacks here. You're only doing about 25, 30 miles an hour through here. Plus, I'm pulling this uh, stupid U-Haul trailer. Oh, well. But, boy, look at that. There's that town right down there. We're getting real, real close. 
you can still see a little bit of snow up on top there too. Okay, we're the third little town. This one is called Austin, Nevada. And I read an article where the population here used to be 10,000, now it's like 300. And it was a silver mine. Plus the Pony Express made this famous back in the 1800s. This was a main Pony Express route. And they're the ones that discovered the silver, I guess. I'll post links down in the description for all this stuff. And a lot of tourist business, motels. Just old, old, old town. What a neat, neat place. Hey, here we go. This is kind of the last leg. It's about a 110 mile stretch. And we're going to end up going into Fallon, Nevada. Look at the clouds up there. There's uh, rain brewing up, up a little farther down here. And another mountain pass. And you don't see as many trees. It's getting a little more deserty here on this end. Really nice road too. This is well maintained. Okay, that this pass here was only 4,600 feet. So we're actually starting to drop down now. We're getting out of the big uh, mountains and dropping down. Okay, we're getting closer to Fallon. Also, there's a big area of salt flats up here. And I've seen markers, uh, you can't see it in the video, uh, where they do missile testing out here, the Air, uh, Navy base. It's actually a Naval Air Force base, Fallon. I've already seen a few helicopters flying over, too. I thought they were checking out scoops. <laughs> Alrighty, well we're getting near the end of it and boy would I do that again in a motor home and just take my sweet old time. What a nice road. Definitely want to check that out. If you ever get to go across US 50 in Nevada, take it. Okay, we're in Fallon, Nevada now. End of the line. Almost 600 miles today, a 12 hour trip today, so I'm pretty burned out. Well, I'm thrilled I got to do this, too. This has been something I wanted to see for quite a while. Mountain passes, ghost towns, and mining. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> what a great day. All right, well, this is Russ. I'm going to sign off now. I hope everyone has a great day. And don't forget to travel safe.